What's the difference between something giving up, giving in, and giving out? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said, Centro Kanina, we're going to talk about the differences between uh, all of these phrasal verbs that start with the word give. And you uh, knew discuss that in this video. Na ito. Now, uh, again, if you are one of the people who complain because I speak too fast, lalo na sa intro part ng video na ito, I do try my best to speak slower, lalo na sa discussion. Mabilis lang talaga intro kasi pag hindi ko naman binilisan, nagkakomplain naman kayo na marami akong sat-sat at mar marami akong sinasabi. So, it's really hard to find the balance between those. But um, in order for me to explain itong concept na ito better, switch na ako to my... PC to show you how to do it, and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung ating uh, second na part ng ating discussion sa give phrasal verbs. And um, there are a bunch na discuss ko sa series na ito. We have give away, give away, give back, give off, which we talked about in the earlier video. And of course, yung give in, give out, give up, and give it up for, which we're going to cover Today. Again, if you haven't seen yung video na nauna, pwede nyong balikan yun, pwede nyong uh, panoorin muna yun, and then jump into this. Dinivide ko itong series na ito this way, kasi marami dito sa mga combinations na ito ang medyo magkatunog at magkahawig ng ibig sabihin. And today, we're going to focus primarily on yung pagkakahawig-hawig din nitong apat na ito. Okay, one thing na madaling makonfuse is yung in, out, and up. Kasi ang connotation niya, Sa Tagalog ay pare-parehong pagsuko. Okay? Pero anong klaseng pagsuko at kailan sila ginagamit differently? Yan ang pag-uusapan natin. Okay? We're going to start out with give in. Yung give in, it means to surrender under pressure and to relinquish control over a decision or emotions. Now, ito ay pagsuko pero ito ay buhat ng external na factor. Ibig sabihin, if you're sur surrendering under pressure, ibig sabihin merong namimilit sa'yo, may nanghihingkayat sa'yo, merong uh, merong nagbubuliglig sa'yo para mag-decision ka to to um, relinquish your control or para sumuko ka. So, magigive in ka lang kung ito ay uh, sa behest or sa kagustuhan ng iba na ibang tao or ng iyong emotions. Yun yung importante dun. So, again, it has to be External pressure or coming from emotions. So, ito example natin. Sabi, after hours of questioning, the suspect finally gave blank. So, again, meron tayo dito na siguro suspect sa isang crime. Siya ay question Ibig sabihin, mayroong ibang tao who is exerting pressure sa kanya na siya ay sumuko or umamin na. So, the suspect gave in. Bumigay na siya. Okay? Yun yung pinaka uh, connotation nun. Next, we have this. Sabi, I tried to fight it, but I gave blank to my anger. So, anger is an emotion. So, dahil emotion yan, you can relinquish control sa iyong emotion. Bisa yung bumigay ka, parang hindi mo kinaya yung nararamdaman mo, siya ang nasunod. Then, this means gave in. I tried to fight it, but I gave in to my anger. Bumigay ako sa aking emotion. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng gave in. So, again, it's pagsuko din, pag-relinquish ng control, pero it's more about yung decision. Sino ang nasunod? Ang nasunod ay someone na nasa labas, na nag-uudyok sa'yo, or your own emotions. Yun yung giving in. Bumigay ka sana iyong nararamdaman or dun sa tao na nag-exert ng uh, demand sa'yo. Okay, so yun yung giving in na tinatawag. Parang bumigay ka because of that. Now, ano yung give out? Ang giving out, parang bumibigay din siya. Eh. Actually, it's something na may surrendering din na aspeto. Pero it's more on uh, something na hihinto siya mag-function or mag-fail siya. And it is because of overexertion. Hindi dahil ayaw nung kumikilos, kundi dahil pagod na siya. Okay, so kumbaga yung isa kanina, siya ay nag-give in to temptation, nag-give in siya to the emotion, ibig sabihin merong tigal labas or yung sarili niyang feelings. Ang giving out physically, okay, hindi na talaga kaya. 
as in, in overwork mo siya, pinagod mo ng gusto, nag-give out na siya. So, gusto pa sana nung tao, yung sinasabi natin, di ba, parang yung utak niya gusto, pero yung katawan niya hindi kaya, pagod na. Yun yung give out. So, if something stops functioning because of overexertion, it's something that gives out. Hindi lang naman yan sa tao, pwede rin yan sa machine. For example, lagi mo ginagamit, bumigay na siya, nag-give out siya. Hindi siya nag-give in kasi wala namang external na uh, na pressure na hindi siya, na kaya siya nagbago ng desisyon. Again, ginagawa niya lang ginagawa niya normally kaya lang sumobra na. Yun yung context ng giving out. So for example, we have this, sabi, they kept shredding documents until the office shredder gave blank. So yung shredder, again, yun yung purpose niya, ginagawa niya, wala naman siyang any feelings against dun sa uh, pag-shred ng documents. Kaya lang, physically, imposible na siya mag-shred pa kasi na sobrahan na siya ng trabaho. So, the shredder actually, actually gave out. And uh, in the Instagram post that I made on this topic, and I will be making more, ito yung isa sa pinakamarami ang nagkamali kasi ang sagot nila was gave in or gave up. Pero actually, if something again stops functioning because of sheer pagod, talagang physically incapable na siyang magpatuloy, yun yung giving out. Okay? So, this shredder gave out. Hindi siya nag-give in kasi wala namang namuwersa sa kanya. Wala naman siyang feelings. Bagay siya. So, nag-give out siya. Okay? Now, next is give up. Again, may pagsuko pa rin na involved dito. Pero ano yung pagkakaiba niya? Ang giving up is surrendering or quitting as your own personal decision. Kung baga, yung give in or giving in, Ikaw ay pinipressure ng someone na nasa labas. Ibang may gusto na sumuko ka. Yung emotions mo ang nasunod. Pero yung giving up, ano mo talaga? Decision mo talaga. Ikaw yung, ikaw yung nag-commit na ayaw mo na. Ikaw nag-decide. And then yung other example niya or other definition niya is to stop a habit. So if you're giving up smoking, giving up drinking, giving up um, playing internet uh, games, yun ay giving up din. So again, up is ikaw. Decision mo. Walang namilit sa'yo. Hindi ka papagod. Kaya, kaya mo pang magpatuloy, pero ayaw mo na. Okay? So, example, we have, if you give blank as soon as things get tough, you will never be able to give blank smoking. So, kung ikaw daw ay susuko, ikaw ay magdedesisyon na ayaw mo na, as soon as things get tough, pag nahirapan ka na, you will never be able to give up or stop the habit of smoking. Okay? So, again, pare-parehong pagsuko, pero iba-iba ng paggamit depende sa sitwasyon. And very important yan. Next is give it up for. This is a little different naman kasi ito ay uh, medyo wala na doon sa pagsuko na aspeto or pagsuko na definition. Giving it up for is asking for applause or basically pa sinasabi mo, oh, um, that person did a good job. Job, so palakpakan natin siya. Yun yung dating nung nung give it up for. If you appreciate someone, ina, kinocomment mo siya, ina-upload mo siya, yung ginawa niya, that is giving it up for. So, for example, give blank for the cutest dog in town, Haley. So, yung aso ko to, si Haley, no? So, give it up for the cutest dog in town, Haley. So, palakpakan nyo siya. Yun ang sabi ng give it up for. So, again, ang tricky dito is yung tatlo. We have give in, give out, and give up. Now, sa konteksto ng love life, dahil mahilig tayong humugot, anong pinagkaiba kung ikaw ay uh, nag, nakipaghiwalay or nagkaroon kayo ng problema sa iyong jowaers at ang dahilan ay giving in, out, at up. Anong pagkakaiba nun? If, some, if someone gives in to temptation, o kaya, di ba, or your boyfriend uh, finally gave in to his parents' wish, that he marry someone else, yung mga ganon. So, bumigay na siya sa hihingi ng parents na, parents niya. Or nag-give in siya sa tukso, sa temptation, dahil may lumalapit sa kanya, okay, na, na, na inaakit siya, yun ay giving in. Ikaw ay mag-give out kung binigay mo na lahat, di ba? <laughs> so, um, um-effort ka naman ng todo and everything, tinodo mo talaga uh, ang pag, pagmamahal, pagbibigay. Pero ang talagang hindi mo na kaya. My heart gave out. Okay? Kasi talagang binigay niya na lahat pero hindi na talaga. Wala na. Pagod na pagod na siya. Yun ay giving out. Aww. Give up kung ikaw mismo ang nag-decide. So, I gave up on him. I I gave the relationship up because it just wouldn't work. I don't see myself 
spending the rest of my life with him, so I gave up. Kasi nga, again, yun ay decision mo na ngayon. Kasi nakikita mo, ay, hindi naman kami mag-work out, so, magigive up na lang ako. Okay? So, ano kaya ang mas masakit dyan sa tatlong yan? Kayo na lang magsabi sa akin sa comments sa baba. Pero yun yung nuances nun. Yun yung maliliit na pagkakaiba nitong tatlo. And sa exam, very important yan to see. Kasi ang tendency natin, dahil magkakahawig ng ibig sabihin, akala natin interchangeable siya. Pero hindi mo siya pwedeng pagpalit-palitin basta. There is always a best answer. Okay? Now, in order for me to see kung uh, kayo ay natututo, we're going to do yung quick quiz natin. I'm going to give you a few minutes to answer this exercise. So get your pen and paper ready. And if you're ready, your timer starts now. All right, let's see how you did. All right, so tingnan natin kung uh, ano yung ating paragraph sabi, there are times when I'm tempted to give blank and go back to living a normal life. I still struggle with self-doubt and feelings of inadequacy and I can feel myself giving blank to those. That's why I give blank the people who take time to send encouraging messages. They are the reason why I, ha I have a renewed urge to teach until my voice gives blank. So it's kind of what I feel sometimes uh, about doing this about making videos here. Yeah, tatao lang din, napapagod din ako, especially if I get a lot of bad comments on that particular day. I do feel sad sometimes, pero it's always the people who encourage me and uh, tell me na, oh, coach, pumasa na ako sa exam. Or those who reach out and ask kung okay lang ba ako, those really help a lot. So, it's kind of a note then for everyone, no? So, isa-isay na natin. Sabi, there are times when I'm tempted to give blank and go back to living a normal life. So, ang tanong, Itong character na to, tingin mo siya ba ay gusto niya ba yung decision na sumuko? Meron bang external pressure or uh, physically ba hindi niya nakaya? Pero ang sabi dito kasi tempted daw siya to give blank. Eh. So, ibig sabihin siya yung nagde-decision. Okay? So, that would be give up. Okay? So, ako nagde-decision na parang tempted ako na sumuko na lang ako. Mag-decision na lang akong sumuko. So, yung decision aspect doon, yun yung importante. Okay? Next, I still struggle with self-doubt and feelings of inadequacy and I can feel myself giving blank to those. So, very important yun, sabi feelings. So, di ba sabi natin when we deal with feelings, yung mga nararamdaman, uh, kung ikaw ay susuko sa iyong nararamdaman yan ay giving in. 
So the answer there would be in. Next, that's why I give blank the people who take time to send encouraging messages. So, ano yung sinasabi niya dito sa mga tao who support her? Ano sinasabi ko sa mga people who support me? I give it up for them. So, parang, I applaud you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for doing what you do. That's why I give it up for the people who take time to send encouraging messages. So, you know who you are. A lot of my ates out there um, na naging kaibigan ko na for years dahil dito sa team. Thank you so much sa inyo. And then there's the reason why I have a renewed urge to teach until my voice gives blank. So sabi dito, uh, sila yung dahilan kung bakit uh, I made the decision to keep teaching hanggang yung boses ko ay bumigay. So anong mangyayari sa boses para bumigay? May decision ba ako doon? Uh, is it something na pressure ako ng iba? Hindi naman. Pero it's something na mangyayari kung yung boses ko na talaga yung, yung sumuko dahil physically hindi niya na kaya. As in, natodo niya na, na ituro ko na lahat ng gusto kong ituro sa inyo, na malat na ako katuturo. That's the time na I'm going to have to stop. So, that is my voice gives out. Pag physically hindi ko na kaya magpatuloy, that's the only time that I will stop this, guys. So, thank you so much again, not just for answering this, for watching the video, but um, for joining the team and everything that you do with me here. So, I appreciate all of you guys. Now, uh, I hope you got all of these questions correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. We're going to have more questions. Uh, if you follow, don't follow me yet, follow me on Instagram, at Laika uh, For more, I'll be posting mo more questions, lalo na pagpapalapit yung exam season, doon sa aking Instagram story, so you can participate. And hopefully, when I post a question related to this topic, tama na kayo at isa kayo sa mga makikita ko na tama ang sagot. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and not mag-exam din sila. That way, mas marami tayong matulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, get in touch with me about the online and live review events, you can go and message me at www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. Alright? Thanks guys! And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe na and hit that bell. Marami pa tayong lessons na paparating, including mga iba pang phrasal verbs like about the word make, take, and all of these things. Ay niyo mo miss, don't forget to hit that bell at i-on nyo ang inyong notifications for all the posts para malaman ninyo kapag may mga pre-premiere na tayo at magpapost na nabagong video. Thank you guys! As we always say dito sa team na to, never stop learning. Aja-aja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.